Alright, it's interesting to see here what the level adaptation will be. I have no idea if Ice Sim was warming up beforehand, and if you're a bit dry going into this set, especially in Game 1 and Grand Finals, it could be a bit risky, honestly. Yeah, and also with Revolver having played so hot the rest of his sets. Yeah. And Ice Knight sticking to this Padinger ledge trap, I mean, we were talking about earlier before, of how vital it is going to be for Revolver to make it back to stage every time and not get gimped by Greninja. Interesting ledge plays are here. A lot of scramble situations, not a lot of them knowing what to do here. Ledge. No back here there, honestly. I'm honestly I, I, surprised. I, maybe he was expecting him to air dodge down into yep. it. That's two misconfirms by both of them, honestly. Ooh, maybe a bit of. Dodge. Yep. Counter. Interesting option, honestly. It's pretty useful for recovering because you can use it to go up, and then now you're way high in the sky. Yeah. Revolver with that SD, though. He's going to have to take the stock soon and knock it gets very good and you're luckily making it back. And we saw this last week as well. Ice Knight is super good on the offstage scenario. Ice Knight also has a really good combo game and yep. on-shield game. Yeah, 100%. The biggest thing for him, I feel like, from watching his play is ledge trapping, honestly. There's a lot of times where you notice he's going to do a lot of, like, full hops just like he did there, honestly. And he's going to get punished for it because a lot of characters, especially one like Roy, can literally just run under you and then be like, okay, I'm going to F-tilt you and you're dead. <laughs> But he's holding this ledge here really good here, and honestly taking a huge lead, and that should be the stack. No, down just smash a, just a little bit too late on that one. Maybe yeah. he just didn't want to do the same thing. Yeah, he I thought F smash time. was going to come for sure. But like an F smash would have killed. Yep. Revolver getting that kill though, and we know he can make these comebacks based on his past sets. So. Yeah, especially with Roy being able to do so much damage at a low percent. Yep. Just having the really good combos for it can tie up the percent evenly. He's slowly making it back here. 33 is nothing to swatch at, especially with a character as explosive as Roy. And catching Ice Knight a bit overextending there. That's what I talk about. Oh, another read on that one, although he does get punished for it. Yep. Both players are showing back and forth. Ice Knight looking for a kill, but that fair is somehow not going to kill. It, it, it was amazing DI by Revolver going straight into the corner. Yep. Although not going to survive it a second time. Too high of a percent on that one. Yeah, catching the DI there. I mean, he got a decent amount of percent there, though, with the, how big of a deficit was. I mean, 73% is really good for Roy, especially since he kills on an like, average 90%. And these these sour spots are just not doing it. Yeah, there's been, there's been quite a few sour spots from Revolver this game. But I say it's also Back been very on the aggressive the entire time. When oh, he yeah. starts a combo, he doesn't drop it. Yeah, and another sour spot. I mean, that's two kill confirms we see getting the sour spot for Revolver. And overextending there right there, it's something I always speak about. You can't like, if your opponent's grabbing ledge and you're forcing a jump option, I feel like it's not, I feel like it's ill-advised to jump unless you know for sure they're going to be jumping or rolling into you. And Ice Knight's just kind of pulling away here. 113 extra credit with more to potentially come. Yeah. Yeah, he could just straight up get the kill off of this. That was a whack well, option. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it worked. Yep. But he does have a full stock to work with, 132% on the Roy. Yep. He's at kill percent. And that catching yeah, the even a down smash from center stage going to take it. High enough percent. Yeah. That might just be a revolver having enough from just watching two sets here. He really likes to land at his opponents a lot. I feel like he can get a lot out of just going to like platform or ledge, honestly. Especially at such high of a percent. I, it's not like ill-advised to do so. I believe they just ran it back. Uh, yeah, I would assume so by how quick it was. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, something I like to see out of Revolver here is just kind of slowing the tempo of the game. I felt like a lot of the match there was played at Ice Knight's tempo. And if you can just force it to be like, okay, are you playing on my tempo now? I feel like you can get a huge advantage. And starting off strong there with two uppers. Now, Ice Knight's playing this corner game here pretty well. Using a lot of short hops there, which honestly I don't see a lot out of him. And I've seen these combos forever, yeah. I forget how many characters have drag down combos in this game. Yeah. And how good they are. They used to be so like, interesting to see in Smash 4, but with how often they see, I see them in Ultimate now, they just like lost the, it, the a special lot of effect for me. Have them to where it's like, it, it, it's like having a spike. Every character has a drag down combo now. Yeah. But it's always interesting to see what characters can actually utilize them. Yeah. Because not every character really gets too much out of them. Yeah, I feel like the biggest two are obviously Greninja and Fox. 
Say so. Greninja, Fox, Sheik, Joker, Peach. Yeah, Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu, yeah, definitely gets dragged up. Pichu, I think, by extension. Yeah. Pik Pichu's is weird, though. Like, I don't like how the it's, back air animation It's functions. really strange. Yeah. And there's some nice ones, obviously. Like, um, Rob has one, which works interesting. Ness has some decent ones into grab. Revolver's going to take the stock, and we got an even game again. Yeah, they tied up those stocks really quick. Yeah. I feel like it's just the nature of how these two characters play, especially in this matchup. Revolver once again landing on Ice Knight. I feel like he's just take if he takes a second and it, like maybe just land in front of Ice Knight, which is not directly on top of him because it's getting him punished a lot. Kind of just looking for a stray hit without really. I don't want to say there's no reason behind it, but it was just like there's a button button just being pressed looking for a hit. And reading the which will get up again. The flood not gonna cover it though, or the hydro pump I should say. <laughs> Right there, if he went to play and just avoids all that pressure. Nice grab that revolver. Yeah, there goes Ice Knight's shield game. Yep. He's so good at spacing out of your shields where you cannot punish him. Mm -hmm. And that was super clean there. We're going to see if revolver can take the stock at a decent percent like he did for the last one. Because this is where we saw him falter off in the last game. Yeah, just small reactions there. There's a fly here, apparently, or whatever it was. Something flying around. Yep. Yeah. Bugs, honey. And no drag down there. I don't know what that is. And that gonna take the kill? No, just off the timing on the th F smash there. And you see Ice Knight, he's getting these dash attacks now, and he's just kind of waiting for what Revolver's gonna do. And that should be game yeah. number two, yeah. Dang, that down till into the up smash. A clean catch on Revolver right there. Yep. I really want to see a stage change out of Revolver here. <laughs> I would like to, but there's a chance that the next game might be the last one. Yeah. I mean, at this point, if it's game three, I feel Looks like, like stage you, you need to mix in. it up. Yeah. I feel like there's a, decent, there's a lot of decent options for Roy in the scenario. I feel like Lilat, Smashville, Yoshi, Small Battlefield, Battlefield. Yep. This option is interesting. Um, it's going to give Revolver a bit more extensions on his combos, but same to Ice Knight. But a big thing I think it's going to eliminate Ice Knight from is those drag down combos that we saw so potently in the last match. it also keep him alive longer from the down tilt up smash. Yeah. I do. Uh, Battlefield, I feel like, is a good stage. Yeah. A, a lot of, very lot of characters. It's, just, it's a very neutral stage. Yeah. There are some characters that are mega oppressive that it makes it so in their favor that you don't feel like you can do much on it. Yep. But for a lot of characters, it's like they both have really good options on this type of stage. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there's a big hole in the meta currently is a lot of people are still like, hey, this <laughs> is just spike. clean up. Triple. Nope. Not going to get the kill though. Like I was saying though, I feel like a lot of people are so like fringement. I'm like, okay, I, we have to be like in such a neutral stage that they lack the options of like counterpicking stages anymore. Like, I see it's so little now in today's meta. It honestly surprises me. Revolver off to a decent start here. And that back yeah, air almost out. killing right off of that. And his grab game is just incredible, honestly, I ledge. Weak down smooth. F tilt? Yep. <laughs> I'm just so used to from watching so much Roy that what's gonna happen. Yeah, these Cyrus spots once again just hurting Revolver. He's gotta find a way to get this kill here and take his first lead of the set, I feel like. Yeah, there, down there at, yeah. at the third spike that he's landed, finally kills on the stock. Oh yeah. It's nice to see that option kind of coming into play this this point of the set. It's honestly something he needs because down two games in grand finals, if you want to make the comeback, you gotta pull up something up. Now are you ceiling gonna save revolver here? I don't know what that option was. I saw him go for it last game too. Something but nutty. Cool. Yeah. Maybe it's like a DI mix-up or something. Possibly. Like an air dodge I'd read. Love to see it. Yeah. I feel like it's a very niche combo though. Like you have to read an air dodge or something. Shuriken not gonna get the mark and that should be it. No. Oh, falls off the stage. Not going for the F smash, surprisingly, going for the fair. I haven't seen that at all. And <laughs> just push him away. That's good. Don't that even bother trying to actually hit him. Yeah, that was good adaptation from Ice Knight there. Yeah, after quite a few failed attempts, yep. just use the water gun, just push him away. And he's flipping the stage on Revolver really well here. Ooh. Revolver looking for that kill though. I do believe that would have killed Backer. Nope. 
Revolver's DI on those backers have been really good. Ooh, and That's DI on that was also really good. Yeah, he DI that up, so... Interesting, but... He lived. Yep. <laughs> I said it's gonna get a backer here. He hasn't been able to get a second backer that I see so much out of him out of his play. That should be the kill. Yep. Yep, another. <laughs> I love the <laughs> adaptation there. Push him away. Oh, yeah. Don't bother trying to hit him. Yeah, we start early on in Don't the past couple it, games. It's like he wanted the F smash, he wanted the down smash, he wanted the fair, and now he's like, yep, I'm just gonna go for the, the high, singing hydro pump double times in a row. And he's pulling away from Revolver now, like clean 70%, basically. I keep reading Mewmon on screen. And oh I'm yeah, because like, he has a four Mewmon. Yeah, yeah. four Mewmon. Respect your other Greninjas. I'm like, oh, let's go Mewmon. I'm like, wait, no. <laughs> yeah, I've I've never seen Mewmon use the blue Greninja. He I keep used forgetting. Blood. People, when people, you have specific colors. Yep. No punish there. Wow. Okay. But just down something a little low does still make it back though. He needs the kill here though. I don't think any extra percent is in order. And yeah. Looking for the up and he's gonna get taken basically to 90%. Shout out to the camera angle there, giving him an extra percent, by the way. <laughs> I hate that that's in the game. No punish there. Weak hit though, sending him upwards. He's gonna get the kill here. Revolver yeah. needs to make a comeback here. Is this Ice Knight's two peat on try points? Also, it would be a clean 3 0 on Revolver. Yeah, 6 1 in games today, that would mean. That would be really impressive. And that should be it. Yep, that's it. Yep. That's it. Greninja. An <laughs> Ice Greninja. Sir Ice Knight the Greninja. Yep. Is Not a try point 116 winner. 3 0 over Revolver. Yeah, Ice Knight 2 pitting, getting some good wins on the way. I know he beat, he beat Revolver today. He beat Sinas. He beat. What else did he beat? I think today? he beat Blucus. Oh, he beat Blucus. 